Lesson 13.1, the distance formula. Well, we'll talk about the distance between two points in a coordinate plane shortly. But first, pause this recording and uh, see how many of these blanks you can fill in. And don't forget to pick a point in each quadrant and label them properly. So now I'll do it. We have our x and y axis. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, always in Roman numerals. Y, I don't know, we just do. Third quadrant, fourth quadrant. This is the origin. Often, but not always, referred to as O. Uh, it is always referred to as O if you're going to refer to the origin, but we don't always mark it. And then uh, pick some points. How about 3, 1, negative 1, 4, negative 2, negative 1, and 4, negative 3. If this isn't review, you may want to go back to Algebra 1 and look a few things over. Which coordinate always comes first? The x-coordinate. And if for some reason you can't remember that, just remember it's alphabetical. So, now we're going to look at two points on the same horizontal or vertical line, and then we're going to figure out the distance between them. So I'll just do a very quick and dirty coordinate plane over here, and let's say the point 5, 2, and the point 1, 2. So they're on the same line. What is that distance? And it's not that hard to figure out that distance, you just subtract... and take the absolute value in case you do it the wrong way. And that would be the formula I would write. Whichever numbers aren't the same, just subtract them. So 2 and 2 is the same. 1 minus 5. So the absolute value of negative 4 equals 4. Now, I'm, I'm truly not a big believer in formulas especially uh, after working with people and preparing them for some of their standardized testing, I strongly recommend you just graph it and look at it and figure it out. I think it's much healthier, much better for you in the long run to do it that way. So, now the hard part. What if we have two points not on the same line? down here to negative 2, negative 2, and go up here to four comma 6. How do we find the distance between those two points? What's that distance? Well, I've had different people do this different ways, uh, and I'll give you a formula for it. I would never memorize it. For me, it's not hard to memorize. These things stay in my brain, but for students, they find it challenging. So what I recommend is just looking at the situation as if it's a right triangle, saying a squared plus b squared equals c squared, figuring out c that way. And it's even worse than that for me. I just look at it and go, well, a is 4 from here and 2 from there. So a equals 6. B is 6 here and 2 there. B equals 8. Therefore, I know C is going to be 10 because square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10. So that's how I do it. I've had students do that forever. They, they don't feel like memorizing. They have no problem drawing a quick coordinate plane, figuring out the distances, and, and knocking it out that way. But it's entirely up to you. 
There's the distance formula. Let's uh, grab those points from before. They were negative 2, negative 2, and 4, comma 6. That's the ones we just used. So we say the distance is, and it doesn't matter whether the x2 or x1 comes first, because we're going to take a square of them, which is kind of like taking the square uh, absolute value. But we'll do it right, just for the fun of it. 4 minus negative 2 squared plus... 6 minus negative 2 squared. Distance equals square root 36 plus 64 equals square root of 100 equals 10. I leave it up to you which you think is easier or which you think you'll be able to do more accurately more often. Personally, with all the negatives in here and the squaring and the potential to put it in your calculator wrong, I think the other way is better. And by the way, since this is commutative, you can put the y's first or the x's first. Doesn't matter to me. You get lots of practice on this. So, let's do the equation of a circle. Center's at A, B. Radius is R. This pops up a lot on the ACT. They love their circles and some tests have only one or two, some have three or four questions. It's a great example of uh, applying geometry. So let's put this at 2 comma negative 3 and say the radius is uh, 4. So we would go over 1, 2, and down 3. And always label your points when you're doing a coordinate plane. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, there's a radius there. 1, 2, 3, 4, there's a radius there. 4, there's a radius there. Radius there. And now we get to work on our circle drawing skills, which are going to be horrible in a coordinate plane. They're just always going to be bad, so don't worry about it. But this would be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 9. That's the equation of that circle. Notice the signs are flipped. We're at 2, negative 3, and when they come in here and here, they get flipped. It takes some getting used to. Why is that? Just is. I've had people ask me to change the rules of math so that won't happen, but sorry, rules of math are out there. We don't get to invent them. They actually were discovered. And that's it, but uh, except for the question, what the heck? Why do we suddenly throw the circle equation in? I mean, what's that got to do with anything? Well, if you look at that up above, and I'll turn it around, 9 equals x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared. And if you take the square root of everything, you'd get the radius, which is 9, equals square root of x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared. And that is the distance formula. And I am hoping you will tie all this together in your brain because I can't do it for you. You have to go out and kind of discover it. And the point is, this is the center of the circle up here. And we go out and hit any point and come down and draw a right angle. This is r, and this is the distance on the coordinates. And the distance is come from subtracting. I suppose I can answer that question why that's a negative here and a negative here. Because you're subtracting those distances until we find the distance we subtract and take the absolute value. No absolute value here because we're squaring it to get rid of the negative. That's it. Go do some problems. This is not complicated stuff, but it is kind of deep and it would be nice if you can understand it on a deeper level. Either way, good luck.